In a bid to enable Kenyan restaurants remain afloat after the president's announcement on closing down of restaurants and hotels, Jumi Food is recruiting hotels to cloud kitchens. This is a format of restaurant functions without walk-in clients. It's difficult days for, uh, for restaurants across Kenya. Um, you know, today, online delivery, home delivery is a portion of sales. Um, but the majority of sales is walk-in customers. And so um, you know, the, the latest directive is very logical. Um, you know, we need to slow the spread of COVID, um, but impacts the restaurant industry in a, tough way, in, in a tough way. The biggest way in which we can be there for restaurants is in providing those delivery service solutions to them. Um, and so we have teams working 24-7 to onboard new restaurants um, that have not uh, started to do home delivery yet on Jumia Food. Um, we have teams working you know, all the time to help them get set up, to give them the training on how to do it and deliver a good customer experience so that they can you know, stay active and, and, and keep hiring people, which, is, which I think is the, sort of the, biggest, the biggest thing that we're all working towards is sort of saving jobs here. To promote restaurants joining the app, and those already in, the app has introduced Food Fest. Yeah, so Food Fest is on right now. Um, so it's sort of a um, little festival to really support restaurants. Um, so all of the restaurants are offering great, great value. Uh, you can order breakfast, lunch and dinner, early dinner um, from, from all of our partners. Um, you've got amazing flash sales every day where with, with, with incredible value, like 50% off from, on, on proper meals. Speaking to James Ouma, a major hotels franchise manager, he says the relief has come in handy. So far, ever since we signed into Jumia like a year ago, we, this is the second year now we are doing Jumia, it has really worked well. Bear in mind with the new COVID rules, people are not come, walking into the shop, people are focusing on delivery only. Initially it was doing like 40% before COVID, but when COVID now came in and the new norm changed, now we are too much on Jumia online ordering. And I can actually say it's really helping in our business to grow. Customers order within 30 minutes, they already have their meal, and uh, that's the best thing. And then the second thing also, people are happy to do that because they are not mingling in the restaurant. He is to his end advising other restaurants that online is the way to survive economically during this pandemic. What I would recommend to other restaurants is that uh, this is the way to go. They need to onboard Jumia because actually Jumia they have a bigger database of customers and they make your business grow. And that's the only way to go because people are scared to come inside the restaurants. So you could encourage them to onboard Jumia. What I would recommend to other restaurants is that uh, this is the way to go. They need to onboard Jumia because actually Jumia they have a bigger database of customers and they make your business grow. And that's the only way to go because people are scared to come inside the restaurants. So you could encourage them to onboard Jumia. Cloud kitchens are a way for restaurants to stay in business while following the Ministry of Health guidelines. Sharon Solitaire reporting for K24 Business.